Um, hello? I'm here because I'm looking for... You're not friendly, are you? If you just tell me you're friendly, I will... Oh, God! Hey! Hey! If you shoot, I will shoot back. Go ahead and lower your gun. Alright? Welcome back to Starfield. We're still on this planet. I am still mad at Barrett. And we're going to head off to the... Actually, can I fast travel to... Yep, yep. We're going to head off and take Barrett back to wherever we're supposed to... The Lodge. The Lodge. That's where we're supposed to be taking him back to. Because, oh my god. If I had to say anything about this mission, is that it was the absolute most useless he seemed like he was getting in good with them okay all right so i don't understand why we even here like he had the situation under control and yet here we are here look out for predators no i did not click on the wrong thing i most certainly clicked on the wrong thing what are you doing off of the ship my goodness if it ain't one thing, it's another. Now that's better. This is where we're supposed to be. Taking this man back to the lodge before I choke him out because, oh my god, I'm so annoyed with him. Here's the closest thing Cora has to home. Not bad, right? Sam, you could talk to me anytime you want to, but Barrett needs to shut up. I am at your service, Captain. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett! We were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign that he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> And to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now, look at them all. What you got to say, me, buddy? Can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just... comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around? Help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe. <sighs> as much as I want to tell him to shove it and go away, if you're coming with me, who's in charge of the frontier? It doesn't really matter to me. We never get too attached to ships. After the fifth or sixth time, one blows up and you get marooned. The romance fades. Plus, the frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. Well, you gave me a ship, and because of the constellation, I was able to find Sam. So, uh, uh, wait, if I do this, then Sam won't be with me, right? Yeah, I don't think that you don't want to get dragged down in the gravity of my genius. I get it. Let me know if you change your mind. So you stay right here where you need to be. I'm taking Sam with me. You already lost your mind. So we've already talked to absolutely everybody in this room, especially Noel. Oh, speaking of, yeah, got some stuff I need to give as you. As much as I love uncovering new. Okay. Stay safe, okay? All right, Noel. But yeah, we've talked to everybody in here. So Barrett is the absolute only person. Where did he go so fast? I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Well, there you are, Barrett. I was looking for you. Sorry. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions, Barrett? Should I be nervous? <laughs> go on, go on. Maybe you should be nervous. I feel like if I get to know Barrett a little bit, maybe I will feel less annoyed by him. Tell me about yourself, Barrett. Let's see. I've been in Constellation for a long time, as you know. I enjoy cheese, mm, my work, and long walks on unexplored planets. Interesting. <laughs> what else did you want to know about? 
Uh, so about the artifacts? I think about it a lot. There's so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some terrifying. I'm not a fearful man, but I am just a man. And I'm keenly aware that this artifact could change my life. Or end it. Hmm. What do you see when you pick it up? Well, when I picked it up, I had no idea what it was. I knew it was something spectacular, though. I saw a vision, flashing lights, the whole shebang. Is it me or is Barrett staring at my boobs? Don't don't look up at me now. Your eyes were wandering lower and lower every time. I, you know what, Barrett? We're just gonna. We're just gonna yeah, I'm just, we're just gonna pass by it. What do you think of the visions? What do you think the visions mean? Excuse me. Something, because not everyone who touches the artifacts sees them. My first instinct was it was a message of some kind, like the Voyager records. Communication from a higher life form reaching out blindly into space. But now I'm wondering if the vision wasn't just sensory. My new theory is something's changed in us physiologically. Hmm. As in not just a message from beyond, but a delivery. Interesting. Where did you find your artifact? On Bendy. No, wait. It was Kazal. Uh, I can feel Lynn's admonishing stare boring a hole in my back. She's not actually standing behind me, is she? Well, <laughs> point is, my story's probably a lot like yours. We dug a pit, found some really wonky readings, and followed them to the artifact. Um, I have some other personal questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Like what? Absolutely nothing. That's all I wanted to talk about. Thanks, Barrett. Always a pleasure. Well, uh, I don't want to ask him. Is he ready to head back Alrighty. out? Because I don't. Again, I I want to keep Sam. But we've always considered ourselves explorers. Okay, no. Anyways, it seems like I'm done pretty much with everything in here. So I guess now I can set on the main mission and find the artifact on the next planet. So I guess it's time for us to head off to this planet now. And don't worry, I do be doing the side missions. I just don't do them recording because there are a lot and if you guys think I'm joking, there is absolute lot, and that's not even half of them. Cause some of these you have to open up, and you know, and it'll show you everything that you have to do. But I just feel like y'all don't want to see all that. Like we've done it before. There's a side mission up here that I haven't done yet, but I want to do, and I plan on doing them. Like I said. And if you guys wanted to, I might make like a little, like small series of me doing the side missions and maybe showing you how I finished them. Not like the correct way, because trust me, I'm not going to be a how to defeat this mission person. Because <laughs> when I tell you, everybody ha I've seen has a different kind of playthrough of this game. Um, it is very different. Like there's people who've played parts of this game that I haven't even seen yet. And they're still like doing this mission that I just got done like finishing. So you don't, ne I guess, necessarily have to do it in order. But I guess for now, I'm just doing them, doing them as they come. And by the way, forgive my rambling because, like I said, sometimes my ADHD just be kicking off. It has, it just be going. Blue, 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 then just keep going and going and going. So, as I forget, there are some other stuff like I am going to take care of. If it has something to do with the constellation and stuff, I might do those on camera as well. I did see a couple of little side missions that I did absolutely pick up. So, maybe um, I might incorporate those into here the gameplays, the plays throughs. So, Here we go. Miss stay up late reading under the covers. Did you learn anything new from your book last night? <laughs> Don't pretend to be mad at me. I know what I I learned that back on Earth, people used to use the stone. Don't you just love grab jobs? 
Please stop talking to me, sir. Well, as much as I appreciate that lovely, uh, story you want to tell me, Sam, it's time for us to get going to our next mission. Now, it seems like it says that we can find the artifact here. And the only reason I'm not trying to pronounce the name is because I honestly can't. <laughs> like, I'm reading it and my brain's just not comprehending it. And I could just butcher it. But I'd instead rather hear somebody else say it. That way I can get the pronunciation properly. Really hope there's no monsters in here. Monsters, aliens. Monsters, aliens, they, I mean, not far off from each other in this game. So... I don't know exactly what happened, but my game crashed. It seems like I'm still recording, which is good, but the game crashed, and I'm a little worried about that. <clears throat> so I hope this did not just like ruin my whole entire recording, because otherwise I am going to cry. Here we're back on this lovely planet. I guess we're going to head off in here. Please don't tell me it's like some bug or glitch here, where if I walk through here, I'm going to get caught. Cause man, that would suck. I think we just made it to this place. Yes, we did. I think I already scanned whatever that is. I gotta be careful stepping and stuff. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah. Oh, hey! I didn't mean to step in it again. But anyways, yes, we made it to this, whatever this is. Looks like an abandoned place, and that definitely looks like a person standing there. Um, hello? I'm here because I'm looking for- You're not friendly, are you? If you just tell me you're friendly, I will- Oh god! Hey! Hey! If you shoot, I will shoot back. Go ahead and lower your gun. Alright? Go back away. I cannot leave. You cannot be here. Okay. Hi. Well, I, I, I warned. I did warn, absolutely. Sam, please tell me you got my back. And down. Uh, uh, I did warn I, that I, I could not leave, okay? Jesus, how many shots did he need to take in the stomach? I literally shot him in the stomach like 60 times. I'll definitely take that. Try not to overload because I don't remember emptying out. Dang it. Master lock skills aren't that good. But I don't remember emptying out my inventory. So I'm trying not to like overwhelm my... Um... Ooh, you got a lot of stuff. Yep. That's, what I, that's exactly what I was worried about. Oh well. I can hand some stuff to Sam. Once we figure out what we need to figure out in this building. Hello? Is anyone in here? Oh man. I'm a little worried. But, nonetheless, we are going to here together. I think. Alright. Sam, you still here? Okay. <clears throat> Sam's still here. Doesn't like there's anybody in here. Looks pretty abandoned. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm carrying too much. Sammy. You need something? Hello, dear. You Absolutely. Might have what you need. Let me empty out my inventory to him. Goodbye. Okay. Now, it's back to doing what we're supposed to be doing. Seems like there's people in there. And that Oh god. Can I shoot these? Look, if you're gonna scream about your eye, then get out the way while I'm shooting. Ah! Get out of here! Get get out of here! Sam, 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 Sam! Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die my my butt! I'm pressing the button and it's not doing it. Sam, get in here and start shooting. 
never mess with a code. I wish. I wish I could tell them where the um people where to go. Die! Die! Thank you. I think this man is stuck. Yeah, like, I... Are you okay? Yeah, I, did, I, I think you were... I, I think he was stuck. I mean, I mean... Sorry? There's still a lot of people in here. I'm trying to clear this out peacefully. They're not asking for peace. They want problems. And I, I'm afraid I have to give them to them. Oh my god! Did y'all see her on my back? That is Sam throwing grenades. Sam is throwing grenades. Sir, I'm gonna beat you with a gun. You're letting me. I can't wait. I can't move. I feel like a. Did my stamina bar run out or something? Listen, Sam, you just threw a grenade. I don't want to hear nothing from you. I guess we scared him off at least. I don't think so, Sammy. I I just think that they don't know how to get out of that room. Hey, y'all stuck in there? Closed off from everybody? <laughs> don't worry, I'm coming around to you. Why did I feel like it was a mistake giving Sam the... Hey, we need to find the key. I think I saw a key. I left it there. Yeah. So I walked past this dude and he <laughs> saw him hanging up there. I saw this stuff on him. And then I started getting shot. So I started shooting the guys that were down there. And now my thing's telling me that there's people in there. And I just came out of there. I didn't see anybody in there. But maybe they're in like a special room or something. It's like I can't see them until like they're like right in my face. Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, well, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. Sam, I was just trying to trade with you. You want to talk about your wife right now? No, no, I'm careful about that. I mean, I try and not put down Lillian with an earshot, which, well, isn't that hard, really? Ah, Lillian. She's an incredible woman. Truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. Well, I don't mind you talking about your ex-wife, I, 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 I'm going to assume, because you said it was your ex-wife. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say that you're telling the truth because you're hot and I don't think you're going to lie to me. I don't care about how great she is. I am trying to show how good I am. You need to see what's in front of you, Sam. This is for you right here. I don't know. I think we're quite the item too, Sam. Oh, don't worry. You're in a category all your own. What was I? But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. See, I tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. Excuse me, Sam, I had to burp. And she's right. Lillian is where she's meant to be. She always wants to fight the good fight. And the Rangers are lucky to have her. Oh, well. If you were that unhappy, you did the right yeah, thing. We were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. 
It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I told her what you told me, that Cora is just blossoming with all this. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. So you were defending my honor. <sighs> Why did you even get together with Lillian in the first place? Late night stakeouts, shootouts with a lot of leftover adrenaline. Well, we were never lacking in chemistry. Compatibility, on the other hand. Ah, uh, I get it. I mean, I just... <sighs> I, do, I just... I just get lost in those little blue oceans on your face. It's just heaven. <laughs> I'm sorry I caused an argument. Don't be. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. That's a hundred percent. Like, I don't want to say that. If I said that Cora was better off with us, it would seem like I'm trying to shut her, Lillian, out. And while I do believe that a child should have interaction with both parents, if one parent don't want to be there, I'm not going to force it. Tell them and like give her a chance, but make her understand that she has to follow through. Hmm. I don't want to do that either because I don't want to lose my man to this perfect woman apparently. Lillian is part of her life. It's not healthy to keep them apart. Uh, I'd like to think you're lost. If I do that, you, you know, all might want to invest in some industrial strength earplugs. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail so everyone can sleep easy. There. Now I can move freely and be perfectly fine and still move on with this mission because I'm a little lost in this place. Oh my god! She hit me in the stomach! I'm gonna shoot you in the face! You just wait till I get close enough. I'm gonna jump in there and shoot you in the face. Sam, stop throwing the grenades! Uh, uh. Don't you poke your head out. Be reasonable! Don't throw grenades! Don't throw grenades! What? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna... No, I'm not! Oh god! No! <laughs> well... I look like I'm having a peaceful sleep. <laughs> I think I got through. Can I just shoot this? I, I, like, I just want to know. Okay. Okay. Can I, can I squeeze through? Can we? Can, hello? Why would they let me break this and then not be able to walk through it? Like, I'm hitting it as hard as I possibly can. This is definitely not a jump in thing. You know what? Bombs! Uh, I I have them. I have bombs. I have bombs. I have plenty of bombs. I have a lot of bombs. Uh, I have, I have this. I have this. Yes. Run, Sam. 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 Run. To be fair, I said run. Okay. Run. I did tell him to run. I don't want to hear nothing from anybody. Okay. How did Why? Jesus Christ, Sam. I think that's everybody. Like, I don't want to, like, jinx myself or anything, but I 100% believe that we just murdered everybody. At least all the red dots disappeared. And hopefully this hallway leads... This is the most confusing place I've ever been. So hopefully this hallway leads exactly where we need to go because when I tell you 
I am annoyed at what has been happening. I am freaking annoyed. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be collecting this stuff. But I'm just getting the stuff off of here. So we can collect this. Okay, now give me the artifact. This looks new. So we got something different. Oh my goodness. We can get out of here. Thank goodness. I think I'm going to end it right there. It looks like the next thing that we have to do, if I can open st stuff properly, would be to add the artifact to the collection, meaning that we're going to head back to the lodge. And I can actually do that now. If, you know, stuff happens the right way. I gotta talk to Sam. But right now, I don't want to talk to Sam because we already talked to Sam. But I will do it off camera. But thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. We're going to head back to the lodge if I can find it. You know me and my directions. Don't judge me. Alright. Directions for me is just like... Like... If you ask somebody to do heart surgery, that has, that's really bad at it. I don't know. I was trying to. I was trying so hard. It's not. It's not. Honestly, if you pay close attention to stuff, you can find stuff really easily. It's just. I, I'm just not very good with it. I'm assuming this is where I need to go. This is the cutout. Oh. Andresia, thank goodness. We were worried. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Well, now that we're here at the lodge, now I'm going to end it. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. I'm uh, getting excited about the story. There are a couple of things that bother me in here. I'm going to go upgrade my guns. I'm going to do some more side missions. I'm going to talk to Andresia because I didn't get a chance to talk to her at all and, you know, get on a personal level with her. I'm going to finish this freaking conversation with Sam and I'm going to add everything else. Uh oh. I'm going to add everything else to the um, thing in the next episode. I hope you had a fantastic time. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace and love.